Hello and welcome back to the last part of the first module of this course. And uh, over here, I'm glad you've made it to here. And uh, we can continue this course, it's gonna be good. This part of the course, we're gonna learn to exploit. Part 5555, which is what we were waiting for the whole time. Alright? Which is what we wanted to do the whole time get to the point of actually performing the hacking now let's get to it first thing that you want to do is that you want to make sure you have your phone connected to the computer all right so on the previous uh, topic of this module there was a little problem that happened that required a little bit of troubleshooting and that was in reference to the port that was uh, closed. We couldn't actually find port 5555 open. Now here we're gonna clarify and fix that issue. I'm gonna show how I fixed it as well. So first thing you're gonna do is connect your phone over via USB. Make sure USB debugging is enabled of course. Then you're gonna go ADB devices, all right? Once you put ADB devices, on your phone there's going to be a notice that pops up and uh, in that notice it will be the old device's fingerprints you're going to have to click on always allow this computer and OK. After that is done you're going to do ADB TCP IP 5555 and press enter. Once you're done with that oh sorry um, it's 5555 it'll restart your device's uh, ADB on uh, TCP IP 5555. After that you can do the network map scan and uh, you can see that TCP 5555 open. Alright, now that's done. We already have that open. What else do we need to do next? Now we need to download our tool. The tool we're gonna use here is called Fontsploit. So, Fontsploit gonna google it and the first link that appears is what we're gonna use let's just wait for it all right right there the first link So you can see the description here says that it's an all-in-one hacking tool to remotely exploit an Android device over TCP IP using ADB. Wow. All right. So now what you want to do is you want to copy this. All right. You want to copy that. I would cut it because we don't need it anymore after we copy it. And then... Uh, what you're gonna do next is uh, be sure that your git is updated. So you're gonna go sudo apt dash get install git provide your password. All right. So that's done. All right. It's updated. Fine. Change the directory to documents. List the directory. Here we wanna do git clone that but we already have it installed so we don't need to do that again all right good clear the directory change the directory to uh, fonts fluid pro list the directory and finally we're gonna do the install uh, the requirements installation I've already installed it so it's not gonna ask me to do it again all right good clear the screen again just to make things freshen up and uh, finally what we wanted to do, Python, Fontsploit Pro, oops, clear the screen, Python, gosh, uh, Python, Fontsploit Pro, .py. alright, so now here, it's going to tell you that there is a tool missing, alright, after you've done all that, there is one tool that's missing, and that is SCRCPY, and the reason we won't be needing this is because it's mainly for streaming your phone, alright? So if you want to record your phone in real time 
or if it is a person that you're targeting your target phone if you want to record it in real time you can use that if you want to capture screenshots and uh, you know do all those uh, crazy things with the device you can do that but we won't be needing that right now for this demo continue so you're gonna the first thing you're gonna do is press one to connect the device I already have it connected here through a USB cable so I'm not gonna connect it through TCP IP and that's mainly because my phone does not support wireless debugging if your phone supports wireless debugging and you have gone through all these steps you can do connect device and provide the IP address and it will connect through the IP address as long as the phone is not connected to the cable it will work without the cable wirelessly but if your phone does not support wireless debugging you cannot connect the device from here you have to use the normal device connection which is via USB alright so it's already connected now let's see the fun stuff that we can do with this device alright so over here what we can do is uh, let's say mm, mirror and controller device you need scrypy for that we don't have that installed we did not install it okay maybe let's say we can try and uh, access the device show all right here we are in the phone already where am I shell okay exit so we already have the shell you saw me access the shell I had access to the device now the fun thing about this is the zero click exploit check this out number 15 I'm gonna press enter to continue I want to use the same L port and L host okay so this is gonna create a payload right now all right it's gonna do the MSF venom uh, it's gonna create the MSF venom payload using this uh, this uh, IP and this port which is mainly my computer as a IP and port and it's gonna install the APK on the device it's gonna launch the app all right and it's gonna send the calls to accept the permissions automatically without actually using the device or even without the uh, person with the device noticing that that has even happened with their computer I mean with their phone like this is one click exploit all right it's one click it does everything for you and as you can see I'm already getting a connection and I have a interpreter shell right there that was amazing all right that was a one click exploit anyone could do this bypasses antivirus it bypasses everything of course the phone doesn't have an antivirus but let's say if the antivirus was silent you'd get the interpreter immediately there's a lot you can do with this you can dump calls you can check for root you can dump your contacts you can you can do all this stuff we'll go deeper into metropolitan okay and later in during the uh, fourth module of this course we'll go deeper into actually using metropolitan but for now uh, let's say sysinfo I'm just gonna show you some uh, basics of how this works so you can see that we are it's an Android 8 um, I have config of course it's gonna give out the same IPs oh shit there's a lot of interfaces okay um, yeah so you can make a directory you can move a file to a destination you can remove a directory you can upload a file as well there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this and it's zero click so yeah I'm not even touching my phone right now it's literally zero click it does everything for you I'm gonna exit this then I'm back again to the ADB now 
what we could also do is scan the network for other devices that are there within the network so if that is possible we could hack the device again with the zero click exploit and then we could find other devices there and and, and uh, exploit them as well that can be helpful and uh, other stuff that we can do including installing apk files uninstalling an app and all these other stuff inclusive just using this one tool phone exploit hope you like this video see you in the next part of the course peace